we found some awesome travel trailers that you can tow with your Toyota Tacoma. This travel trailer is the Keystone Springdale model number 1860SS. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 4,221 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 779 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 5,000 pounds. It measures in at 22 feet, 10 inches long, and it can sleep up to four people. When you first walk in this RV, you'll notice off to the right hand side is the bedroom area and that wraps around into the living area, dinette area, and the kitchen is right across. Now back here towards the back of this trailer is where the bathroom and some additional storage is located. So in the front of this travel trailer is where the bed is located and you know this bed's located sideways which means if the person sleeping up here wants to get out of bed at night they've got to climb over the other person but the reason a lot of companies do it this way is because it does save space in the RV and you don't have to make and unmake the bed I mean it's always here so it has its advantages and it also has its disadvantages now this is a 74 inch I believe it's 60 inches wide yep short queen bed so an RV queen or a short queen is what that would be called you'll notice overhead you have an open shelf for plenty of storage and then behind that you've got a window on one side with a couple of receptacles on this side over here you have a nice wardrobe cabinet with a bar up top so you can hang things and then down below that you have a little nightstand that's carpeted and then behind here are two more receptacles and two USB ports. So if you need a CPAP machine or you want to charge your electronics, plug in your tablet while you're reading it, whatever you're doing, you've got everything that you need here. There's also another small window right here so you can get a nice cross breeze in your sleeping area. One other thing to note is the TV location is right here and so you've got all your cable and satellite and receptacles all lined up for you so you can easily pop a TV here. This is actually a decent location because you can see it from your bed, from the couch, or even from the dinette. Right next to the bed area is the living area, and you'll notice that the living area and the dinette booth are all in one big slide out. So this whole area slides out, and that's the reason why it feels so big and spacious in here. Now, this sofa is very nice and comfy. It's got thick cushions. Just feels really nice and uh, and cushiony in here, I should say, for a lack of a better word. Now, this sofa does also jackknife out, so you can change it into a bed. And I would say a child would be able to sleep here pretty comfortably. One nice feature that they did is sort of the sofa table behind the sofa. It's got some open storage. Even down below, there's plenty of room for storage down there. And then it's got a shelf up top with a nice window over top of that. Now, there's also one thing that Keystone did in this model is they've got all their storage underneath with these drawers. A lot of times you'll see over top of a slide out, uh, there'll be cabinets above, but they put all of their storage down below to save space and give you as much headroom as possible. Now, the dinette in here is a very comfortable dinette. It actually can seat four people very comfortably. It's got a nice big window so you can look outside while you're enjoying a meal. And then one other thing to note is that you can drop the table and this will become another bed. So you could sleep four people in here. Now, I don't think an adult would be able to fit in this dinette. Um, so I would say, you know, kid on the couch, kid in the dinette, mom and dad in bed, perfect camper for a family of four. Also, you'll note that I'm not gonna pull them up, but you can pull up the cushions pull up the plywood underneath, and there's storage underneath both of the dinette booths. In addition, there's two more drawers located here under the dinette for even more storage. So here we are at the kitchen area across from the couch and the dinette. And this is an inline kitchen, so everything's right in line. You know, you pull something out of the fridge, boom, it goes right on the cooktop or in the sink or whatever you need to do with it. Now, one thing I want to point out with Keystone RV, some of their trailers have this new color scheme that I just think looks fantastic in here. You know, they've done all their cabinetry in a matte black finish, uh, and it just looks really sharp. And you get this nice contrast between the black cabinetry and the lighter colored walls that are in here. And the wood trim in here is a natural wood color. 
And so between those three colors, I think it really gives a terrific color palette inside of these trailers. Now, you'll notice on the left-hand side here that you do have a single bowl sink. I wish it was a little deeper. It would be tough to wash dishes in here, but you know, it'll get the job done. There's not much countertop space except for behind the burners. And so they do have a two burner stove, but if they had turned it sideways, so they're located front to back, that would give you a little more countertop space in here, uh, which would be a really good thing because there's really no countertop space. Up above, it does come with a microwave oven. I like how they did it in red. It just kind of pops and give you, just gives you a little different flavor in here. And then of course, you have a nice big three-way refrigerator and separate freezer. Down below your cooktop, you have a couple of drawers here that for all of your kitchen utensils. And then there's even more storage and a lot of it underneath the kitchen sink. Now at the back of this trailer behind the dinette and before we go into the bathroom, you've got this really nice big storage area. On the left hand side, I would consider this more of a pantry style cabinet. And it's pretty large, comes with some built in shelving in there. I wish they were adjustable, but either way it's cool. You can use some plastic bins to store things and that way things don't go flying everywhere, but it's a great setup. And then next to that, they actually put in a big wardrobe cabinet back here as well. And it comes with a bar up top so you can hang all your garments. It does come back all the way to the side wall. So there's a little more storage back in there. Or you can just use it as a big open storage. You don't have to hang things. Down below that, another big storage cabinet with a fixed shelf. So plenty of storage there. And then below that, there's a little area under here where you can kick your shoes and stow them away under the cabinets. Now, while we're down here, I did want to point out something very, very quickly. One question we get asked every now and then in our Facebook group, and we also get comments on YouTube videos or emails from the website is, are the fuses that you use in an RV the same ones that you would use in your car? And the answer is absolutely yes. I recommend you go visit you know, AutoZone or any auto parts store, buy a multi-pack of fuses, and that way you've got them on board. If anything blows, just replace the fuse with the same exact uh, number that's on it. It's either going to be 10, 15, 20, or 30. And uh, that way you're covered. If you're out on the road and you have to replace a fuse, just keep some on board and you're good to go. So here I am in the shower, which I always end up in the bathroom. And as you guys know, I am 5'11". And if I just stand in here, normally my head is just hitting the ceiling. So you have 5 feet 11 inside the shower. If you're taller, you're going to have to crouch down a little bit. Now, this shower has a little soap dish in here, but there's really no place for shampoo bottles or anything. I guess you could keep them out here on the countertop and reach out and grab them as you need it. Uh, you've also got a removable sprayer for your shower head, which is nice. And then it's got a shower curtain, the dreaded shower curtain. Um, you know, I can't stand shower curtains because our Class C has one, and every time I take a shower, it sticks to me. So maybe that's just my thing. But you can buy a retractable shower door uh, and install it in here on your own. It's very easy to do. They come in custom sizes. You can get them very quickly. Uh, we got ours from Rec Pro. Check it out if you're interested in that. Rest of the bathroom has the same black matte finish in here that they carry in from the rest of the camper. And then it's got a nice sized medicine cabinet here. Down below, you have a really good size vanity sink, lots of countertop space, and then some open storage down below. So unfortunately, with the door closed, we're not gonna pass the elbow test in this bathroom, but there is enough space straight ahead because the shower's straight ahead that you really won't feel like you're cramped when you're in here. At the very front of the camper, underneath the owner's bed, there's a nice big pass-through area for all your exterior storage. One other thing to point out on these Keystone travel trailers and all the Keystone products for that matter is they all come standard with a complete solar package, including the solar panel on the roof. So it works from day one. They've teamed up with Battleborn Batteries, which has a, I guess, sister company called Dragonfly Energy. And they provide all the lithium batteries that are used for all of the RV uh, or all of the Keystone products. So you get a fantastic solar package called Solar Flex. You can expand the package. So if you really want to go off-roading, you can make the package so it fits your exact needs and provides all the power that you want. Now we featured Solar Flex with Keystone 
in our, I think it was the November issue of RV Camping Magazine. We'll put a link in the notes down below if you want to go on over and subscribe to the magazine, which is totally free, including all the past issues are also totally free. So check it out and you can read all about the whole new Solar Flex program. This travel trailer is the Gulfstream Envision, model number 21TBD. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,655 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 2,405 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 6,060 pounds. It measures in at 22 feet, 6 inches long, and it can sleep up to four people. When you walk inside this travel trailer, the first thing you notice on the right hand side is the twin bed setup, which is really, really great. Then you have your dinette and kitchen area, and in the very back of the trailer is a really spacious bathroom. In the front of this RV, it is really, really cool because you have your choice between having twin beds up front so you can sleep separately and not knock into each other at night when you're sleeping, or there is a board that can go across the middle here and there's a couple of extra cushions that you can put in place and make this a really big, short, king-size bed. Now, the first thing you'll notice about up top here is all these really nice storage cabinets. So you've got a lot of room to store clothes and things up top. You'll also notice there's a light above my head so you can have a well-lit area here. Uh, just above where you would sleep, there's a shelf with receptacles and H not HDMI, USB, USB ports on each side. I always get them mixed up. And there's a light above here as well. And then you've got, really, if you set it up as twin beds, you have this nice big nightstand in between. Or like I said, you can put the cushions in place or the extra mattresses and turn this into one big giant bed. One other really nice feature is there is additional storage down below on both sides. So you have storage under both sides of the double beds. And another couple of other things are you've got windows on each side so you can get some nice cross ventilation in here. And finally, there is a curtain that just separates the sleeping area from the rest of the trailer. The dinette area in this camper is set into a slide out. It's a bit of a raised up type slide out, but that's okay. I mean, you can still squeeze in here and easily seat four people here. We don't particularly like the carpet in the slide out areas, especially in the dinette area, because you can drop food and stuff and, and the carpet can get dirty over time. But a lot of slide outs do have carpet in them still, and they're slowly changing over to making them all vinyl or linoleum. One other nice feature about this dinette is you can drop the table down and this will make a bed that I would say two kids could sleep in. So a family of four in this small trailer would work out just fine. If you have adults though, I would say just one adult might be able to, to sleep here. The dinette table is pretty spacious. There's a nice big window above, uh, so it's a great dinette setup. So the kitchen area in here, and you guys hear me say it all the time, this is an inline kitchen setup. All the kitchen appliances are all in one line, which I love. It's a very convenient setup for a kitchen. You'll notice up top here, you've got a very large storage cabinet here, plus a built-in microwave. Now, this is a regular microwave, not a convection, but it doesn't need to be, and I'll show you why in just a second. But as we pan on down, you'll notice there's a three-burner gas range here, which is really, really large. And then next to that, a very shallow double bowl sink with a gooseneck faucet. Now, what they've done in this trailer is they've given you maximum cooking and lots of sink space at the cost of all of your countertop space. So I guess what you would have to do is, when you can, have this cover down because this becomes your countertop space. That's really all you have in here. But another nice touch is this lighting underneath of the kitchen counter. And then it's got this big door with lots of storage underneath. Now, next to that cabinet, under the stovetop, you've also got a real oven, which is why you don't need a convection microwave up above because you have a real oven to cook or bake things in. Now, I do wanna point out one more thing in the kitchen, and that is there are no drawers in here. Uh, so you're either gonna have to have some totes to hold your kitchen utensils and put them under the kitchen sink, or you could use what's called a hide a drawer. Susan and I have one in our Class C RV, and it basically gets mounted right underneath on the bottom of your dinette table and it's a little drawer that you can pull in and out and we keep all of our kitchen utensils in there so if you ever run into a trailer that doesn't have drawers 
Don't worry about it. There's always a workaround. Now, working our way through the kitchen area, you'll notice that there's a nice big uh, refrigerator with a separate freezer. This is a three-way fridge, which is very convenient. You can use battery power or propane or shore power. Uh, and then behind me here is where your TV would be mounted. This is a great spot in this camper because you can see it from the bed area as well as the dinette. Just above, we've got some radio controls, another storage cabinet, and then down below, another shallow storage cabinet. So here I am in the bathroom and there is like a 13 inch step up, step up to get into the shower, which really takes away from the headroom in the shower. You know, this trailer actually has great headroom. I mean, from the floor to the ceiling, it's six feet, uh, nine inches. So a ton of headroom for all you taller campers out there. But due to the fact that you've got a 13 ste uh, inch step up into the shower, you know, you're going to lose some headroom in here. Now I'm 5'11 and there's maybe five inches over my head. So if you're taller than 6'4 in the shower, you're going to have to, you know, crouch down a bit. But once you're in here, it's pretty spacious. Uh, there's a little couple little corner shelves for shampoo and soap. Of course, the shower head pulls off, so you can use that however you'd like. And then this has a retractable shower door, which is, in our opinion, way better than a shower curtain because you won't have it blowing in on you when you're taking a shower. These just pull out and then automatically retract back into place. Very nice feature. So on the other side of the bathroom, and this bathroom does run the whole width of the back of this uh, trailer. So on this side of the bathroom, you'll notice that you have you know, a good size medicine cabinet here, a nice light up above so you can see your face in the morning. It's got a very good size sink in here with a decent amount of counter space around it. Just to the right of that, there's a drawer here to keep things and it's even got a wardrobe closet here so you can hang things up in here and store things on the bottom as well. And then finally, there's even more storage below the vanity. I gotta say, for a small camper, the elbow space in here is an absolute winner. Outside the camper, there is a huge storage pass-through area, which gives you lots of room and lots of storage. This travel trailer is the Coachman Spirit, model number 1840RBX. It's got an unloaded vehicle weight of 4,358 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,642 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 6,000 pounds. It measures in at 22 feet, 7 inches long, and it can sleep up to three people. When you enter into the back of this camper, you'll notice the first thing on your left is the refrigerator. The bathroom's right next to that. And as we wrap around, we have our dinette and kitchen area. And towards the front of the camper is where the owner's bed is located. So just inside the, the door when you walk in, you've got these really nice pantry cabinets on the left-hand side. They're nice and big with thick shelving inside so you can store all your dry goods away in there. And then right next to that, we've got our refrigerator location. Now, I like the refrigerator located right here because let's say you're hanging outside at the campfire, at the picnic table, you need to run in and grab a drink or something out of the fridge. It's handy, it's easy, it's accessible. You don't have to walk all through your camper and back out again. The fridge itself is a 12 volt refrigerator. It's really nice and big inside. It has a huge freezer, huge refrigerator, just a really fantastic setup. Uh, on the other side of the doorway here, you'll notice that we have the kitchen area. It's a really nice size kitchen in here. It's got a great double bowl sink with a gooseneck faucet overhead. And then right next to that, we have a three burner range and then plenty of counter space off to the side of the range. Above, you'll notice that you have two receptacles here. And then above that, you've got your radio controls, a little bit of open storage, microwave oven, and then more storage above the kitchen sink. Down below the kitchen sink, there's also two doors that open up with plenty of storage underneath. And this trailer actually has a real oven as well, which is terrific. Then you've got some drawer space off to the left-hand side so you can stow away all your kitchen utensils. So directly across from the kitchen, here I am sitting on this nice comfy couch, which is uh, embedded into a slide out. So that's what creates a nice big open feeling in here. Now this sofa is great because it's multifunctional. First of all, you can just sit here and enjoy sitting at your sofa or 
you can use your freestanding dinette table and it becomes a nice dinette. And then the third function that it has is this does jackknife out into a small bed. And I would say a child could sleep here. So if you're a small family just getting started with your camping adventures, this might be the perfect situation for you. Now we haven't talked about it yet, but one feature inside this camper that is really unique and really makes it super bright and airy in here is this huge skylight up top. This thing is four feet by two feet and it's got a little roof that pops up so you can get some airflow in here. There's actually a little, little screen that comes across so you can keep all the bugs out. And there's also a nightshade so you can have privacy or get blacked out when you're trying to sleep. But what a fantastic feature to have on board. So here we are all the way at the front of the camper and you'll notice it's got a nice big bed up here. And this baby is 60 inches wide and oh, 80 inches. So we have a real queen size bed in here, which is great for all of you taller folks out there that want a real queen size bed when you go camping. Now overhead, you'll notice that you've got plenty of storage up top so you can pack your clothes and things up there. And then on each side of the bed, there's a mirrored wardrobe cabinet. Up top, there's a little place where you can hang things, but it's so big and deep in here, you can also store more stuff down below where you might hang some stuff up top. On each side of the bed, there is a little nightstand with two receptacles and USB ports. So if you have a CPAP machine or you need to charge things at night, you can. And you've also got this really nice big window over top of the bed. Now, my favorite part of this bed setup is that you and your partner can both get out of bed at night if someone has to use the bathroom and they don't have to disturb the other person climbing over them when they're trying to get out of bed. So that's a really great setup. And one more thing that Coachman's done is they've created this bed lift. And normally what you see underneath of a bed is just a big box and you can throw things like blankets and pillows in here. But Coachman went a step further. They created some nice pull out drawers, some open storage under here with cargo netting to hold things in place. And they even have a spot for your laundry basket. So the TV location is in a really great spot because you can see TV while you're laying in bed at night, getting ready to fall asleep, or you can simply swivel it around and it's the perfect position to see from the couch as well. So here I am in the shower like I usually am. And as you guys know, I'm 5'11", but we have six feet, four inches of height inside the skylight inside the shower area. So that would really work well for some of you taller guys that are out there and gals as well. Now I like this corner shower setup because it has the glass doors that roll around. You don't have a cheesy curtain in a corner shower, which we've seen too many times and that will never ever work. The glass shower door setup is definitely the way to go. Now, once you're in here, you'll notice that you have a little spot for a shampoo bottle or soap, another corner shelf below that. And then they do have a little step down below that you can use as well. Now, right outside of the shower, you've got a beautiful vanity area. Up top here, you have a nice medicine cabinet with both, both closed and open storage below. Very good size vanity sink. And then of course, additional storage down below. So here I am sitting on the commode and you might notice at the shower base, there's about an 11 inch step up and over to get into the shower. I'd like to see these a little lower, but I know it has to do with getting the shower trap to work under the drain. And so sometimes they have to pop them up a bit to get all of that to work. Now, just behind the commode, there's a really nice big storage cabinet. You can keep linens in there, extra toilet paper, toilet chemicals, whatever you need. Plus there's a couple of towel rings on the wall that you can use. And sitting on the toilet, you're not gonna pass the elbow test in here, but the bathroom's big enough that it won't feel claustrophobic. At the very front of this trailer, there is pass-through storage underneath the owner's bed for plenty of storage space. To see some other awesome travel trailers that you can tow with the Toyota Tacoma, just click over here to my left and we'll see you in the next video called Small Travel Trailers That You Can Tow With an SUV. See you there.